I'm about to embark on my first ever zip lining adventure in the Canyon del Sarto in the Ecuadorian Andes Mountains. So wish me luck, here I go. I may look happy, but I think that is just a front. The hike was a great way to take in the view of the Andean Mountains. We would be zip lining in the shadow of Cotopaxi and the sights were amazing. While on the hike, I gave myself a pep talk that I would not fall to my death while zip lining. I am actually not afraid of heights, but it started raining and Jorge warned us that once the lines are wet, there is no telling how fast you will zip down. So the idea is to fly from one side of the canyon to the other. Okay, you can just explain the hand thing to me again too. He's gonna do it. How it works. First, we have our equipment. We have uh, our harness, which is uh, what grabs our ourselves to the to the system. We have the pulley, which is our transportation system to the other side, and we have an extra carabiner that is our safety line. Jorge did a great job at explaining the process, but that didn't calm my nerves. I am beyond scared now that I'm really doing it first. Of course, I was the first to go up. Why allow the person in the crew who is the most petrified to attempt the stunt first? I do not know. That's it. So it's pretty easy, okay? You have anything to say? After that first line, I realized there was no reason to be frightened in the first place. We were with the crew that actually placed the lines themselves. They knew how to take care of us. I even tried it once by myself, breaking the whole time. Let's try it here, in Tierra del Volcán. There you go. My fearless and daring 13-year-old sidekick, Isabella Pruna, loved it from the very beginning. Coming up on Latinize, we learn about a very popular Ecuadorian dish and we visit a beautiful hacienda. You don't want to miss it. You want to do it again? <laughs> Our last adventure in the highlands would blend the past and present foods of Ecuador. One of the most popular Ecuadorian dishes is the locro de papa, which is like a potato soup. What we have here is we've remade a chagra hut where we're going to learn how it was originally made. Um, so I get to test my cooking skills and see how I can do. The ladies that helped me are experts. They peeled the potato in two seconds. I needed a little more time. No puede ser como tú. Did it. Peeled my first potato with probably the biggest knife I've ever used. This dish dates back to the Inca times and is made with simple but great ingredients such as potato, cheese, and corn. This would not be the first time I tasted this insanely tasty dish, but it definitely was the best I had the entire trip. Another fun tradition in the Ecuador food experience were the drinks. In the horn was aguardiente. Cheers a common drink in South America with a strong licorice taste, a favorite of my Colombian family. It was definitely a great way to forge a relationship with my new Ecuadorian friends. The memories of these adventures will forever be imprinted in my mind. By this time in our travels throughout Ecuador, I had been able to see and do so much. In such a small country, I had already been in the middle of the world. 
ridden horses surrounded by volcanoes, and best of all, I met incredible people. Yet, there were still great surprises around the corner. We were about to venture into the Amazon Basin, a land full of mystery and exotic life. We would be tracing the footsteps of one of the first women to ever cross the Amazon. I was ready. I want to thank Tierra del Volcan, especially Jorge and Maria Perez, also San Agustin de Cayo and Posada Inca Pirca. Our search for the Inca remains and our quest for high adventure has brought us to the right place. So until next time, keep seeing it through our eyes, Latinized. In this case, we find a uh, millipede. And actually, you can difference in millipedes and centipedes because these guys, they have four legs per segment. Centipedes, they have just two legs per segment. They don't bite because they are vegetarian, so uh, we can hold it like this one. And Look. that's for the pro to hold, not, not for me, <laughs> it's the pro. <laughs> It won't bite? Put your hand. Uh-uh. <laughs>